So my new $20 lav mic, is it that good? It comes in a, its own pouch? Whoa, what is that? I'm going to take a minute and do a test between my $4 lav mic, which I absolutely love. It just sounds good for such a cheap mic. I just want to find something similar that has that same boost. Wow, I look like a total slacker, man. This is like that commercial where the guy had the comfortable shirt. We're testing my good old... Reliable blue lab mic from uh, it's called five below. It's like the dollar store except with more dollars So that's what that sounds like. Let's switch it out <sighs> <Hold on. laughs> That's the good old lab mic with the, with the DB boost Okay, I think this will still work now that should give me a nice little a B comparison if this one still has the same kind of boost as the other one I have no idea Let's find out later. So, after uh, reviewing that footage, it sounded pretty good. The first thing I noticed was that it actually had more trouble and more clarity and I could hear the road noise. I mean, like I could hear the cars out there in a lot more detail than that other mic. I think it still had the same amount of boost and pretty similar bass. Bass boost like the other one like I like. My problem is my lack of experience with lab mics is starting to show because I'm not exactly sure how to clip this thing on so it doesn't show so much. Maybe some mics are different. I think a lot of them do have a smaller clip. This does appear to be a metal clip that's going to be durable. And One thing I like about it is that it, it seems to have eight positions that it'll snap into. So... Maybe I need to read the directions. I'm always promoting reading the directions and I didn't read the directions in this one. But it kind of sticks out. I'm sure there's a way to get around that, but I don't know what it is, so. Um, yeah. The Power Wise $22 mic from Amazon. I think I'm gonna like it. Yeah, so, so far I'm pretty happy with this little thing. One thing I didn't check yet that I will have to look into is uh, interference. My last lav mic, that blue one, it picked up interference from like this random digitally sounding interference from the gimbal I was using. And once in a while, even if I wasn't using the gimbal, I think I would get, like the wires would get too close to the phone and it would give me some, that same digital interference. I'll have to check that out. I'm kind of excited about trying this thing out in a few different situations, so. Affiliate links below, so do that if you need one. There's a link to make it easier for you. We appreciate it. Yeah, this isn't a full review, but Darn it, if I didn't get a good first impression right away from this thing. You know, it's just fun having good high quality toys to do your creating with and documenting whatever you're doing later. So feel free to subscribe. Subscribe.